Hey, I'm Maya Faber, and in this tutorial, I will show you how to create a pattern brush in Procreate. The first thing you need is a pattern tile in black and white. Your motifs should be in black and your background in white. If you don't know how to create this type of pattern, watch my tutorial Make a Seamless Repeat Pattern in Procreate here on YouTube, or check out my Skillshare classes. I'll leave links in the description of this video. So let's create the brush of this pattern. I will swipe down with three fingers and tap copy all. And then I'll create a new brush in the brush set over here. So I tap the plus symbol to create a new brush. The first thing that we will do is to tap grain and then edit grain. And under import, tap paste. And here we have our pattern. Now we need to invert this, so tap with two fingers to invert the image so that the background will become black and the motifs will become white. And then tap done. And here you can see that we have our pattern brush, but before we're completely finished with the brush, we need to adjust some settings. As you can see here, if I let go of the pressure and draw once again on top of the stroke, the pattern will be drawn again on top. And that is not the look that I'm after. So I scroll down in the green option and uncheck the offset jitter settings. And that will fix that problem. If you look really closely, you can see that we sometimes have opacity in the brush and I don't want that. So to change this, I tap on Apple Pencil and drag down the opacity to none. If we tap drawing pad and clear the drawing pad and try out the brush again, we can see that there's no opacity and that there won't be any overlapping or duplicates of my pattern on top when I release my Apple Pencil and start to draw again. So yay, this looks really good. Tap done and let's try out our brush. As you can see, my brush is really small. It's a super tiny pattern and I want my pattern a bit bigger. So I tap into my brush settings and in the grain option, I can scale up my brush to maybe 60%. So let's tap done and try out the brush once again. And that looks great to me and I'm happy with this brush. If you want to name your brush, tap into the brush settings and about the brush and add a name to the brush. And we are finished with creating our pattern brush. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Maya Faber. If you enjoyed this tutorial, check out my other tutorials here on YouTube and subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn more from me, check out my Skillshare classes. And for a more personal learning experience, you can join me on Patreon. You can find all of the links in the description of this video.